Hey, this is Brittany Bond reporting live from my living room. As you can see, there's a chicken out the window. This is Thailand. I am still on Koh Phan Yang. I love it here so much. A little paradise island tucked away while the whole world is going crazy. So I'm happy. And I wanted to share with you some exciting projects that I'm working on because I think there's a lot of room for collaboration and I would love to share with you guys what is going on. So the main thing that I'm working on right now is uh, getting more into crypto trading, which I know sounds a little bit different from what I was working on last year, but it will make sense. So the question that I'm asking myself this year is how can I empower women to be more financially free through educating themselves on financial literacy and also uh, just different ways to in invest and I think that that is something that I'm like oh my god I want to talk to everyone about this if you know me personally you know that I love talking about negotiating and money and just how where to invest I love all of these things and especially with women I, I love just being like hey let's do this together let's collaborate let's come together and get excited about this this is something that we can make a lot of money on we can enjoy and it can be a fun thing so I've been really enjoying exploring blockchain uh, technology and the, just the different avenues. And to me, when I speak to people about it, I liken it to the beginning of the internet where a lot of people didn't understand what was going on. People were investing in things that weren't actual real things and no one really understood what was happening. And that's kind of what's happening right now in blockchain. It's like everyone knows it's like a really big deal. Some people think it's a scam. Some people know that it's real, but they don't understand how it's actually going to be applied in our everyday life, which is great. Um, so this is a moment to really dive deep and explore that. So if you are part of any sort of blockchain technology and you want to have a chat with me, especially around women in tech, please reach out to me and let's have a conversation. A lot of my friends on LinkedIn are connecting with me because of this and we're having some really great chats because I've spent most of my life building community around women in business and women in entrepreneurship and remote work. And you know, I have a background in law and corporate law and intellectual property. And it's like all of these things kind of feel like they're merging together into one thing. And this is the direction that I'm going in, which is empowering women in financial freedom through blockchain technology. And specifically right now, I've just been having a lot of fun learning about crypto and learning how to trade. And it's funny because it's like, there isn't that many women doing it. And at first I was like, I'm going to start a YouTube channel. I'm going to like empower women to crypto trade. And I might still do that. But right now I've just been like really enjoying studying it for myself and figuring it out for myself. It's, it's like a video game <laughs> with lots of money. And one thing that I am happily surprised at is I'm actually very good at it. So, yeah, it's like magic. I don't know, it just feels like you can just make magic out of thin air. And I'm not saying that to say that it's easy. I think it's actually a very hard thing to do. Or hard, easy, whatever. It's, it's a very complex thing to do. It's like a riddle that you're trying to figure out because you're trying to watch the market and find trends in the charts and also intuitively understand a whole mass of people's emotions and they're negotiating on what they price they think that Bitcoin should be at or Ethereum or this new altcoin that is, is it a real thing or is it fake technology? Like it's just like so much interesting things happening. So that's been taking up a lot of my time. So crypto trading is one. And another one is I have been working with some amazing people here on the island on a new project called Ana Alma, which means I am soul in Arabic, and it's a music festival that we're doing. So if you've been following me online, you'll know that I'm always, in, I'm always throwing some sort of party or bringing people together. And Aaron and Lagad, who are our very close friends, and Andy and I, the four of us have gone together and we've been doing some parties at a venue in Tong Solo called Soundgarden. And now we're going to take that and take it all over the island and do pop-up festivals. Uh, and right now we're focusing on a two-day festival that we want to do in March next month. And yeah, so my call to action on that is if you want to be part of it, if you want to collaborate and DJ or be part of some of the art stuff, we're going to do a, mar a whole market there. I think Seaboard where we do art markets. Um, and also we're going to do a sound healing part of it. So our goal is to raise the vibration of everyone who comes to it because I think a lot of people go to concerts and festivals and they just want to release energy of pent up whatever but for us it's like how can we come together 
So for me, it's more of like a little mini Burning Man. And I love that and I'm so excited for it to grow and especially when the world opens to have international DJs come. So our goal is to do it monthly. So to do a two day, like an overnight festival monthly where people can stay in bungalows and yeah, just have a really great time. So if you wanna be part of that, please reach out to me. There's a whole team of volunteers. We're like building stages and like, like coming up with new art projects and like just thinking of these big things that we can do to like bring everyone together and create magic for a weekend. So that's another thing I'm working on, I'm super excited about. And then also something that I've been really excited about is I've been speaking more, for a while I took a lot of time off and I was just really burnt out last year. It's like I was preaching to the world that we should get on remote work. And then when COVID hit, I had some of the most work I've ever done because what I did for most of the last five years was consulting and I was helping uh, small and large teams go remote and especially around culture change which in, within large organizations. So how can you get a good culture that is created in an office on, into an online presence? And for a lot of people this was not only um, ethereal, like something fairy, like, but they just didn't think it mattered that much. And then suddenly COVID hit and they had to work remotely and people were having a really hard time working at home. And they were like, what, how do we do this? What do we do? We need help right now. And so they would reach out to me and I was working so much. Like I know during COVID, a lot of people are having a hard time with work, but I was working 12 to 14 hour days as a consultant and, and I had so much more work coming in and I just hit a point of burnout. So I took some time off and I was like, what really matters? And so now I'm like, this, this does matter. I do think it's really important to share my experience with remote work and consulting with companies. So I'm opening myself up again to uh, some consulting work. So if you are a team that would like to have an expert to come and help you do a call once a week and just get some feedback on how to make your team work better, more smoothly, what tech tools to work with and what systems to work with as, as a remote team, you can reach out to me and I'd be happy to work something out with you. Also, I've been speaking a lot more on online conferences. So anything around remote work and women in tech or women in entrepreneurship, those are different speaking gigs that I would like to uh, open myself up to more. So uh, I know a lot of you have reached out to me uh, in the past six months and I just didn't respond, but now I'm here and I'm ready to respond. So I'm excited to do that and I have a bunch of um, speaking gigs coming up in the next couple of weeks and it's just exciting. It's like, I, I do have a lot of knowledge to share with the world and it's exciting to and it's exciting to show up and share it and I have the energy to do it now. So it's I think it's a really big thing to talk about though, about burnout, especially around remote work, because people think, oh, you're at home, you know, I'm in my home environment, I can make a tea, I can take a break whenever I want. But what ends up happening is you're just like my computer's back there, you're just like stuck on your computer for the whole day and sometimes you forget to drink, you forget to eat. You can just forget basic necessities because you're just stuck. There's no one telling you what to do. So if you're a hard worker like I am, then you can just end up going to the max of that and not taking in the balance. So the, that's the reason why I'm sharing with you guys about my burnout because I think it's super important to talk about that because I think a lot of people, I'm probably like a year or two ahead of a lot of people who are just getting into remote work or consulting on it and I think that it's it's just something that everyone's gonna face at some point if they if they are a hard worker which is a good thing to have um, so I would love to share about that also if you are interested in hearing about that so I'm opening myself up to speaking gigs and I have done many of these in person and online I, I really do miss doing in-person conference speaking at conferences and all the networking that comes with that like the tactile, like being able to meet people and shake their hands and talk about all the things. But I'm happy to do that online. So if you have someone that is looking for a speaker around women entrepreneurship, building startups, or around consulting on remote work or speaking at conferences on building your team remotely or managing or hiring remote, please reach out to me. I will be happy to help you. So this is Brittany Bond. I'm sending you so much love and light from a beautiful paradise island here in the south of Thailand where we really have not had to face a lot of the things the rest of the world's facing. I'm very grateful for that. So I can be a shining light of joy 
to the world. We've only had one COVID case and that was last March of 2020. Um, and since then, everything has been normal. So yeah, definitely live in a different reality tunnel than most people. <laughs> but that being said, I'm very happy to share my uh, expert advice and um, all of that with you guys. Cause I think you're awesome and I want to be there for you. I think the world is, is waking up in a lot of ways right now and I'd like to be there to help along the way. Okay, hope you guys have an amazing day and hello and goodbye from Thailand. Bye.